opening this week. Brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. So, Ashley, what's opening this week? One of the films opening this week is the new Johnny Depp film, Black Mass. While his brother, Bill, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, remains a powerful leader in the Massachusetts Senate, Irish hoodlum James Whitey Bulger, Johnny Depp, continues to pursue a life of crime in 1970s Boston. Approached by FBI agent John Connolly, played by Joel Edgerton, the lawman convinces Whitey to help the agency fight the Italian mob. As their unholy alliance spirals out of control, Bulger increases his power and evades capture to become one of the most dangerous gangsters in U.S. history. Mark, should people be looking forward to Black Mass? You should totally be looking forward to Black Mass if for no other reason than we finally have good movies coming out again after getting <laughs> through the wave of late August and early September. So this, from all accounts, could be an Oscar contender. Everything that we're hearing about people seeing this movie at film festivals ahead of uh, its release date, they say not only could it be an Oscar contender as far as a movie, Johnny Depp should be nominated, and even Joel Edgerton could be nominated for a Best Supporting role. So, yeah, you should get excited about this. I was excited knowing that this cast, that this talent was going to be in telling this story, seeing the trailer for the first time. The only concern that I have is some of the makeup when I see the trailer on Johnny Depp. It just, it looks a little J. Edgar to me. It looks a little Halloween mask as opposed to actually being convincing. I'm sure once I get in the theater and I'm watching the movie, the story will sweep me up and I won't be worried about it anymore. That's the one lingering fear I have. Everything else I'm hearing about this movie seems like you should see it opening weekend. Schnepp? Yeah, I mean, just from the trailers, and I, you know, I'll say I like the Halloween mask action. I think when I see Johnny Depp in this, I think of like an evil vampire. <laughs> He's just like a spooky vampire in real life. I mean, that's. I mean, I don't know if that's really what this is about. Is this a vampire movie? Just I kidding. Don't no, think he's... I cannot wait to see this. I'm. I'm so excited. And John saw it. So what do you? you know, what do yeah. You uh, I myself, Wendy Lee. We had a chance to go and watch uh, Black Mass yesterday. And what? Yeah. Oh. Was, yes. And. Uh, it was everything I was hoping it would be. It it, it really is. But here's the thing: this movie is uh, dime piece. Um, is really it's dime piece. heavy. This movie's heavy, man. Like when when I walked out of the theater after watching Black Mass, I had to take like a couple of deep breaths because it is heavy. It's intense. It's violent. Uh, it it shakes your faith in humanity. A little bit. Joel Edgerton is remarkable in the film. He's, it, it's, I don't know that he's ever been better. Um, and, you know, a lot of people tweeting me, is Johnny Depp back? Is Johnny Depp back? Johnny Depp's back. Um, and I'm going to agree with you. The, the outfit, the costume he's wearing, the makeup and everything, the first five or six, maybe the first two or three minutes he's on screen, I really noticed it. And after that, it just blended into the movie. And then I wasn't thinking about, you know, the slick back hair, the, 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 some of the prosthetics they did, or his eye color. None of that. That was just Whitey Bulger that I was looking at for the rest of the movie. There is a scene in this movie, without giving anything away, there's a scene in this movie between Johnny Depp and the, the character of Joel Edgerton's wife that I almost vomited, not from being disgusted, but because of the tension. I haven't felt a movie give me that kind of tension as like the way they crafted this one scene. When you see the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I will be shocked if Johnny Depp doesn't get nominated for Best Actor. Um, I'll be a little surprised if Black Mass is not nominated for Best Picture. Whoa! Uh, I'll be a little bit surprised if it's not. If, if I had to bet money right now, I bet money that Black Mass is going to get nominated for Best Picture. Uh, Johnny Depp absolutely will get nominated for Best Actor, I, I believe. I'll be shocked if he's not. And I will also be shocked if Joel Edgerton is not nominated for Best Supporting Actor. Um, he's just The other guy that really jumps out to me because I always think it's weird that he's in this movie, in any movie I see him in or any TV show I see him in, and then he's in it, and then I'm always blown away by it, is this kid Jesse Plemons. Mm -hmm. uh, who you might remember from uh, Breaking Bad. He was in Friday Night Lights. Mm. Um, he, I believe, is the first character you see in this movie. And it's like, oh, I forgot he was in this. That's kind of weird. And he's all, he adds to the atmosphere of this movie so well. Um, just a really... Good movie, man. Like, I, I, I really enjoy this thing. But like I said, de you're going to have to decompress after you watch it. You're going to have to decompress after you watch it. It, it is heavy. It is powerful. It is tense. It is everything you thought this movie would be. That's what it is. There's that word again, heavy. In the future, is there some problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? <laughs> <laughs>